everyone. So I want to talk to you about a problem we're still seeing once in a while. The uh, complaint from the customer is, hey, the engine has started leaking oil. And so we pull the cowling off and sure enough, you look around in the engine compartment and we can see multiple places oil is leaking around uh, rocker cover gaskets, uh, magneto gaskets. Luckily, no front seal leakage yet, because one of the first things that goes through your head when you see multiple oil leaks is high crankcase pressure. So what can cause high crankcase pressure? Well, blow by from the rings, okay? Um, compressions are all really good on this engine. They're all in the high 70s. So start looking around, breather tubes, clogged breather tubes can cause high crankcase pressure. So look at the setup we have here. This is the breather tube coming off of the engine to an anti-splat air oil, air oil separator. Glad I got that out, okay? Follow this tube down. Normally, this would vent to atmosphere, just right out the cowling. However, this setup uses a, a Napa kind of breather valve here and allows suction from the exhaust to actually reduce crankcase pressure. Supposedly, you get a little more RPM. It's a racing trick. The problem with this is if you have any blow by or oil coming through this air oil separator, it hits this exhaust down here and begins to clog that hole. It cokes the oil. Sure enough, I pulled this off and I could not poke anything through that hole. You'll see in the still picture we'll include with the video, I bore scoped it. You can see where I poked, poked the little hole in it. It was completely clogged. So we're just probably minutes away uh, from a failure, perhaps of the no seal. We've seen no seals blow out in these engines when this clogs up. Uh, Anti-splat arrow has actually made a safety bypass and we've informed the customer already. So you're gonna add another valve here with a T and plumb that over. So if this does coke up, it doesn't plug up the breather tube for the engine. So for those of you who have the anti-splat arrow, air oil separator plumbed into your exhaust, please make certain you've added the bypass valve. It's very dangerous if you don't, okay? Thanks. One of the cool things about working at Baselag and working on a bunch of different RVs is we get to play detective sometimes. In this case, uh, the customer's complaint was the angle of attack was yelling at him on final or whenever he was slow, and yet the airspeed was reading substantially higher. He did go perform a stall. The stall airspeed and, uh, indicated ended up being about 10 knots fast. So I was riding back with him. Uh, he brought the airplane over, needed a ride home, and started thinking about it and said, you got a static leak. So, and we'll talk about indicated versus angle of attack here in a bit. But uh, sure enough, we put a static tester on the system and big wide open leak. So uh, Daring managed to crawl into the back of this tiny baggage compartment here behind there. And look what we found here. Let's see, Darren, if I put this against the white, if that's a nice big split where the tube went over the T that connects to both of the static ports on the aft side of the fuselage. So a couple things here. You can prevent this from happening by softening this tube before you actually push it over one of these nylon T's. And it'll go over a little bit easier and it won't split like that. So what causes uh, uh, the AOA to disagree with the airspeed? What happens here with a static leak is we have a much lower pressure here in the outside of the fuselage just because of the airflow, what happens back here. So with a lesser static pressure applied to the airspeed, we get a, actually a higher indicated airspeed. Angle of attack really never changes with that measurement. And we'll show you here with a picture on the pitot tube how that works, but you've got your airspeed coming in and a pickup at a little bit of an angle below there. So that measurement's usually always pretty correct, unless we have a, you know, a pitot blockage. In this case, by increasing, uh, or actually decreasing the static pressure, we get a higher indicated airspeed. So um, I actually noticed it when I was flying back, that approach felt a little bit sloppy flying by the indicated airspeed. So I used the angle of attack, worked, nice, easy, soft touchdown. So uh, for those of you, two things. If your angle of attack's hollering at you and, it, and your uh, you know, airspeed looks uh, high, better check out for static leaks. Also, for those of you who want to tell everybody how super fast your airplane is, go check your static tubing, all right? Most of these RVs all fly pretty much the same, plus or minus five knots. And uh, you know we've had people come through here and tell us, oh, how much faster theirs is, 10, 15 knots faster than everybody else, and invariably we'll find a static leak. Thanks.